Hi, Dave Wilson here again. Now, you'd be forgiven for thinking I'm laying a new patio. Uh, no, I'm not. This is in fact a new soldering block. So, let's take a closer look at it, see what's new. Follow me. Okay, so here we have the Silkwa soldering board. Uh, and you can see it's one foot or 31 centimetres. I think officially it's 30 centimetres square, but as you see, it's just a little bit over 31 centimetres square, just over square foot. Now, the first thing is, if you look at the surface, it's very smooth and very hard. It doesn't have the kind of grainy or crumbliness that you get with the old asbestos substitutes board. It feels very much like a large ceramic tile. It's very, very hard and very dense and I can tell you that this block alone is two and a half kilos so it's very very tough substantial material um, according to the specs it is waterproof so if it does get dirty you can clean it down with a damp rag obviously let it dry first before you start applying heat now one of the main features of this is it's claimed to be highly reflective and what that means is when you apply the heat to it rather than going through the heat is reflected back up now I can tell you in the fact in the past that um, I've used these kind of thin blocks as I'm sure you have and um, when I've been casting with them and applying a lot of heat the heat can go through underneath and it has actually damaged my table um, it's not a major problem but with this, this is almost an inch thick um, because it reflects the heat you're not going to damage your table regardless of how much heat you apply to it it's rated at over a thousand degrees so even if you're working with platinum it's not a problem so why would you need something so big? well I work a lot with wire and of course you need to anneal it beforehand so if you've got a big coil like that, it's difficult to get it on a small soldering surface or a block. So here you see we've got lots of space around it, so I can use a nice big flame all the way around, anneal that metal, and of course the tip isn't going to come anywhere near my board, so my bench is perfectly safe. Likewise if you're making bandles, or anything that requires a long straight strip uh, you might be making a chain for example or a necklace then this is five inches long and you can see there's a lot of space around it so again you can use a large flame high up all the way across and you don't need to have any concerns about your bench or your surface being damaged now of course one of the things where you need a lot of heat is casting so this is my usual setup I like to put a little block at the back there just to stop any heat going across the, the desk. Uh, you can have your casting rings there and again lots and lots of heat, big flame all the way around and I am nowhere near my desk or any other flammable materials. I can even keep my rings there, pour straight into them and everything is contained on the bench. So all in all a really really great piece of kit very substantial very heavy very solid it's the same on both sides as well so if it does become damaged or incredibly dirty flip it over and you've got a brand new board on the other side so it'll last you for years to come just as a last thing it does come with four little self adhesive rubber feet which you can put on the corners and that will stop it slipping around I don't really think that that's a problem because it's two and a half kilos, it's so heavy it's, that it really isn't going to move anywhere. Um, but if you do want to use those, you can. And again, it does emphasise the fact that by sticking self-adhesive rubber feet underneath it the heat is not going to get through, it is not a problem. So you're protecting your bench and you're giving yourself lots of workspace. So the Silkwa 30 centimetre square soldering brick I highly, highly recommend it. It's brilliant.